If you're a compulsive reader, you probably spend a lot of time searching for different categories of book to please your imagination. However, here you will not have to waste your crucial time looking for books that you may like. In this video, we are reviewing similar life-changing books like 4-Hour Workweek that will help to advance your life. We'll also review some great books that are written by authors like Timothy Ferris. Before that, we want to share a short summary of 4-Hour Workweek with you. The 4-Hour Workweek Summary The 4-Hour Workweek is a non-fiction book written by entrepreneur and writer Timothy Ferris. Ferris started his career in a technological firm, where he would most likely be working full-time. Ferris eventually concluded that the term full-time was accurate. He spent the majority of his leisure time at the job that he disliked. Ferris started his own business to try to improve his living condition. He could now do anything he wanted, whenever he wanted, without the restrictions of working for someone else. In the 4-Hour Workweek, Ferris explains how he heard about the Pareto Principle. The Pareto Principle claims that if you put in 20% of the work, you will get 80% of the results. Ferris didn't require 100% outcomes in his own business when he was fresh out of college. So he decided to give it a shot. He discovered that by computerizing or automating the remaining 80% of his productivity, he could do and get a lot more with a lot less. In this context, the title for our workweek is a bit misleading. A typical workweek is 40 hours long, with 8 hours representing 20% of that time. However, it's likely that Ferris is simply attempting to emphasize the fact that he now has little to no work to do, hence the title. In writing this book, Timothy Ferris made four key points that one must follow to achieve a new realm of productivity. Of course, the first step is to write down what you want. Things will be a lot more easier for you in the long run if you ask yourself what you want to achieve and how you plan to do it. The second and most important step is to remove all sources of distraction from your life. Many people are readily sucked into a web of communication, and once trapped in, it can be difficult to break out. However, you must remove distractions and diversion temptations in order to be really productive. The third step is only relevant in today's modern environment. Ferris recommends automating your cash flow. Finally, Ferris advises readers to become more mobile in the globe. This does not mean that you must move across the whole world. But it you must allow yourself the time to accomplish things when you want to do them. Many people are trapped in a cycle of going to school or working for their jobs that leave them with little time to accomplish anything else. This was, of course, Ferris' original scenario. However, in order to live a relaxing life, you need to have freedom from your schedule. Here are the eight books similar to 4-Hour Workweek that are written in the same genre or written by authors like Timothy Ferris. The Motivation Hacker by Nick Winter one of the main concepts of this book is the idea of success spirals. This is the concept that summarizes one of the most essential facts of habit formation, you must begin small before moving on to larger goals. In this book, Nick Winter recommends that you start with a goal that you can trace, that doesn't require absolute perfection, and that is within your capabilities. Another positive aspect of this book is the concept of pre-commitment, as well as instances from his own life of how he applied it to accomplish some significant goals. Pre-commitment basically means that you put up penalties for yourself if you don't complete a task that you set out to perform. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey the first and most important piece of advice in this book is to aim first to understand, then to be understood. Many of us have the problem of constructing our response and waiting to say it rather than genuinely trying to hear what the other person is saying when we're listening to them. The obvious issue here is that neither person in a conversation truly knows the other when they do this. So, once you've fully internalized this concept, you'll be able to sense what other people are feeling and thinking and you'll be able to communicate effectively. 
The 5 AM Club by Robin Sharma What I loved about the book, in particular, was how Robin Sharma mixed the narrative of the characters with the practical advice in the book. This mix of narratives makes this book particularly unique because it not only gives you that narrative but also gives you those practical frameworks. This book will give you the inspiration and the tactics to make the most of your day. The author will inspire you to make the most of your mornings so that you can make the most of your life. The Lean Startup by Eric Rise. Many entrepreneurs make the mistake of focusing all of their early efforts and resources on establishing a predefined product or service. They are frequently frustrated to realize that the finished product fails to attract clients after months of hard work. The Lean Startup can help you determining the best product to produce as rapidly as possible, one that customers want and are willing to pay for. The book emphasizes the need to identify presumptions early on to test them fast and inexpensively. When done correctly, this strategy can help you transform your ideas into a profitable business far more quickly and with significantly less waste. The Happiness Equation by Neil Pusricha. This book covers many areas when it comes to the topic of happiness and how to constantly be happy on a daily basis. Neil Pusricha demonstrates how to want nothing, do everything, and have everything which is the happiness equation in this book. It seems from first sight that this equation is controversial. However, Neil shares the nine secrets that anyone can follow to reach happiness in life, no matter what you do, where you are, or how old you are. Apart from the different tips and tactics described in the book, I find that it contains small chapters that do not include much content and instead it simply expresses the idea behind it rather than forcing it. When flipping through this book, one feels at ease and appreciates the experience rather than feeling pressured to discover some miraculous secrets. Pragmatic Thinking and Learning by Andy Hunt The tip to capture insight 24-7 was one of the most beneficial snippets in the book for me. Essentially, this means that you should always have a way to get information or ideas into a system that you can trust and access afterwards. For example, when you get a new idea, write it down somewhere and later take a picture and save it in a storage that you can easily access. Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman One of the best book on thinking, Thinking Fast and Slow will teach you about heuristics and biases. So, these are the mental shortcuts that our brain uses to make decisions and can lead to misleading thinking. There are two systems in our brain. System 1 is automatic and constant, but System 2 is concise and time-consuming. These systems aid in the efficient operation of our brain. Our brain, on the other hand, prefers to make the least amount of effort possible. Even when we don't have enough information to make reasoned conclusions, we make quick decisions. However, we also can't trust our own memories. Our mind doesn't remember the experience in a straightforward way. Instead, we remember our feelings more than the actual event as a whole. We can modify our concentration and radically change our ideas and behaviors by learning how our minds work. So, we become more creative, comfortable, and in a good mood when we use System 1. We are bitter in rational thinking and decision-making in System 2. Zero to One by Peter Thiel A startup's goal is to create and capture new value. Unfortunately, providing value to clients does not always equal to commercial success. A startup may not be able to generate enough value in the form of revenue and profits to fund the operation. Peter Thiel's book Zero to One is on how to develop a startup idea into a profitable company. While much of the advice is aimed at big-budget startups, many of the lessons may be applied to smaller, niche-focused firms or even tiny businesses. Anyone interested in growing a valuable firm will find the book inspiring. If you read any similar books like 4-Hour Workweek, feel free to comment below. We always wish to know your opinion.